Hey hockey players, in this video, we're gonna go through a lower body weight training workout for speed development. All right, hockey players, for this workout, we're gonna break it down into three different supersets. The first two supersets are gonna be done in what's known as a contrast method. This method is absolutely fantastic for speed development in hockey players. The first two exercises are gonna be the dumbbell goblet squat matched with the box jump. In a contrast method, you always wanna match one heavier movement immediately after to one very explosive movement. So we're going from one heavier squat to an explosive movement. In the next series, we're gonna be doing a barbell good morning matched with the broad jump. So you'll see in the first series, it's about knee bend and vertical extension. And in the second series, it's about hip extension and forward jumping. Two different movements that recruit different muscle patterns that are responsible for speed out in the ice. In the last series, we're gonna be doing dumbbell split squats with seated calf raises. With the goblet squat, you're gonna have a good posture. Weight's gonna be shifted slightly to the heels. You're gonna go all the way below parallel and come up for five complete reps before waiting 30 seconds in rest until we go over to the box jump. Now if you'll notice, Kevin's using his arms as he's jumping and coming into full hip extension with each jump. A common mistake a lot of hockey players make is they won't use their arms in this fashion. And with the barbell good morning, you wanna have your chest up, weight in the heels, and bring your bum behind your heels as you transfer your weight down and back into full hip extension while keeping your head up. You're gonna perform five full reps here before taking a 30 second rest and moving into your broad jumps. With the dumbbell split squat, you want to remain stationary in one spot, control your descend on the way down before coming back up and having a great posture the entire time. It's very important not to lean forward with this exercise. And with the seated calf raise, it's important to do a two second pause for all hockey players at the bottom of this, as the skate boot tends to really tighten up the Achilles tendon over the course of a competitive season. This exercise really helps break up those tightnesses that can limit our speed and increase our injury risk. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked that, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button and let us know if you have any questions.